Right, guys. I hope you all well. And uh, this is our Mercedes Benz E Class. It's a W two one two. So uh, this guy will be suitable for pretty much every E Class. That is uh, W two one two. Now I've seen this uh, quite a lot on Mercedes Benz, so uh, it's nothing new. And I've also seen this on a previous C class that we had in. So I'm just going to sort of uh, run through the same kind of things on this E class. You can see on the dashboard here we've got ESB in operative, uh, see owner's manuals, and uh, then it flashed to uh, run flat indicator in operative, and we've also got the uh, traction control lights on. So with these problems, we still can run the engines, but there's a lot of uh, fault codes, a lot of message that is flags on our instrument panels. So with that being said, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, fix this. Okay, so the best way for you to solve these problems is to scan the car computer first. Uh, to scan out the fault code that started this whole things in the first place. So according to Sentry, uh, we head over to the Electronics Stability Program, which is our ESP, and we see a lot of uh, fault codes that are uh, we can list out that the vehicle dynamic can bust off. Uh, we can see that the uh, can line has an open circuit or short circuit. The um, uh, vehicle dynamic can bus, uh, and uh, moreover, we have a uh, can communication with uh, the yardage sensor for lateral and longitudinal as accelerations. Okay, so with that being said, we're gonna check some uh, actual values on this electronic stability program. So before checking anything, I want to uh, go through the theory first on uh, what is a uh, yaw rate sensor. Firstly, uh, what does a yaw rate sensor do? A yaw rate sensor or rotational speed sensor uh, measure a vehicle angular velocities about its vertical axis in degrees or radians per second in order to determine the orientations of the vehicles at its hard corners or threaten to roll overs. So how does a yaw rate sensor function? Uh, in simpler terms, the yaw rate sensor is a key component in a vehicle stability control or electronic stability control systems. Uh, yaw can be defined as the movement of an object turning on its vertical axis. Uh, the yaw rate sensor determines how far off axis a car is tilting in a turn using gyroscope to uh, monitor the slip angle, the angle between the vehicle's heading and the actual movement directions. This information is then fed into the vehicle computers to evaluate the wheel speed. Uh, the steering angle and the acceleration positions and if the system sends too much yaw uh, the appropriate braking force is automatically applied now by comparing the uh, vehicle actual yaw rate to the target yaw rate uh, the onboard computer can identify to what degree the vehicle may be under or over steering and what corrective actions is required corrective actions may include reducing the engine power as well as applying the brake on one or more wheels to uh, realign the vehicle then uh, where is the yaw rate sensor located? Uh, the yaw rate sensor is typically located under the driver or passenger seat mounted on the level 4 bo floorboard in order to assess the vehicle's center of gravity. After the in installations, a uh, recalibration procedure is generally required. Okay, after the uh, reinstallations, if the error code is still present, uh, you need to uh, replace the component N3064, which is the electronic stability program control unit. So we'll head over to the actual values and uh, choose the sensor. As you can see, the uh, longitudinal accelerations uh, is the actual values is uh, exceeds our spe specified values. And with that being said, uh, we're gonna check our yaw rate sensor. Okay, so with this uh, W212, our yaw rate sensor is located under the uh, passenger seat. Okay, so it has four wires, uh, two power supplies, and uh, two for the uh, CAN bus signals. Okay, to uh, measure the sensor, we can either use uh, the multimeters, or to be more precisely, we can use the oscilloscope to measure the uh, pulse. So uh, after checking the power supply, as well as the uh, CAN bus signal from the ESB control unit to this sensor, I can see that they are all present. Uh, we have already have a videos in details on how to measure them, but with the uh, W212 facelift versions, so you can replay it at our playlist. Moving on to our connectors, uh, when I unplug it, I immediately realized that there is a uh, pipe pass on the connector. Uh, one of the most possible reasons is that this sensor is not fully appropriate for the vehicle, and the uh, previous workshop has to do this in order to match the factory connector. 
Uh, this would lead to a manifold a message on our scanner saying that the CAN bus is malfunctioning, etc. Now, after replacing the appropriate sensor, uh, we're gonna clear the full code and let's take a look at the live data. When the vehicle is, in, is at standstill, uh, there are little to non changes in the car longitudinal or lateral accelerations, and there is no fault code in the ESP control unit. So in the last step, we have to test drive uh, the vehicle to see if there's any indicators on our instrument cluster. And as you can see, uh, there's nothing on our panel and I can say that our problem has been solved. So I hope you enjoyed today's videos. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us and we will help you as soon as possible. Uh, till then, uh, we, re we really hope you enjoyed today's videos. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.